682 games I've played now, which I say is a lot more than I planned on playing. 1905, good luck. So we've not played before, we have no head-to-head -head score. Opponent, 2600 games, that's very, very good. We're just going to try and develop and castle. Um, I was wondering whether playing early c5 is a bit committal. I'm just going to develop just so I can castle. Obviously, you've got ideas for for white here. Obviously, we can push a pawn if he plays bishop down. It's what he's done, so I'm just going to push a pawn just to cut this knight move and then just try and get castled. And then probably throw c5 in. It feels like a wasted move in a way, but I think it's useful. It gives our knight a square. We're trying to just break, break out a little bit, not be too bogged down. Takes, I'll just take back. If takes, I can take back. We takes there. We could potentially take this way, trade the queens and take back, but we still got this issue with the knight potentially coming in. Hmm. I'm just going to take with the bishop first. It's still an option to take. Just got to be careful about the Greek gift ideas, but I don't think he's got enough with it right now. And right now my knight covers it, but if I take back here, is the Greek gift on? Check, take, knight check, back, queen down. You're not in time to take there. Yeah, maybe it is. I'm going to take with the pawn. I'm just going to take with the pawn just so the knight still guards here. It's a little bit of a dangerous position just in case the Greek gift was on there. The yeah, knight down is another move again. Now we might have to play forward, although I guess we could throw an annoying check in. Actually, yeah, knight down, I'd probably throw a check in. So he's come there. So I quite like the idea of my bishop up now. Again, we just need to watch out for... The Greek gift idea, but now if he moves his queen, I'll just take the knight. Queen takes, then up. Okay, he's gone there, but now we can maybe get pushed back and try and block this all down. Again, he's still got a nuisance move, but we do have knight up to deal with it, or even maybe knight here in the rook can run. Oh, he has gone there. I didn't think he would do that. So takes, takes, takes. Got to consider it, but I just feels wrong. That feels too bold. So I'm going to drop back and challenge his bishop. Just hope I'm not blundering something. If I'm blundering, I'm blundering. So he's trying to grab my um, pawn here, but it's a risky way of doing it. So I've got knight across. Knight takes, knight up. Or we can just take, take. But how do I undermine this knight? I'm not sure. Pawn up feels wrong, so I'll just go out wide. It feels okay. Okay, I'm losing a pawn, but it feels okay. Got bishop back on knight up. Oh, he's choosing to take first. That feels like a mistake to me, but is it? Feels like it was a bit unnecessary. Um, I think I might take the opportunity to bring the rook across. Just so we can get ready to launch forward. Okay, he's gone there. I think I want the queen this way, just to still guard the bishop. He's playing this very well, actually, isn't he? Very, very well. So he's a very good player, and I've maybe gone a little bit too quick out the opening here. Two minutes gone each. But he has got a, a much more open king if we can find a way to target his pawn, so... Pawn up's a move, pawn up might be a move, this pawn up. I just need to make sure I don't blunder my bishop with some double attack somehow. So maybe we spend a move dropping back, I'm not sure. I expect a move like one of the rooks across. We could counter it. Yeah, he's played across directly to hit my bishop, but that might actually become a bit of a problem. So I don't think I need to spend much time on this move here. Just drop the bishop back, not really any other contender moves there. I mean, maybe I could have tried to develop a rook first, but... <clears throat> very risky, but this knight right now is out of the game, isn't it? Hmm. If he keeps his pawns intact, my knight is a bit out of the game. So I've got to try and target this one. How do I do it? Rook across or rook across to shift the knight. But then we still need to shift his queen, so... Yeah, so he's trying to line up the idea of taking here. I can see his concept because of the pin. 
But right now, hmm. Okay, I think I have to step up, but then I've, it's a little bit loosey and a little bit loose. So here, check takes, takes, feels fine. But you can see the concept because of the pin there, he's threatening knight takes with a double attack on the queen and rook, just winning the game on the spot. So that's why I moved the king, but it might actually provoke me into a, a move that ultimately releases my knight because there might be nothing better to do anyhow. But now that knight is no longer guarding this pawn, so if we can just deflect him from defending this knight, we might be able to get in. Let's just see how he does this. He doesn't want to be too overly aggressive. But of course, with aggressive play that we're facing, if we just make one simple mistake or we don't see one move, that's it. The game could be just over just like that. So let's see what he does here. Mm, but yeah, the knight on e4 is what we need to shift. He's reinforcing his pawn. So he wants to push this pawn. So I can attack the queen in one go, and he still needs to guard his knight, or I can directly attack the knight, and he might have to push here. That's why I think he's played where he's played. Um, so if I want the rook on this file, it's probably worth doing that first, provoking the pawn push, then shift this rook, as long as I don't blunder something here, but I don't think I am. If he goes back, then I'm just trading my knight off. And my knight's just stuck doing absolutely nothing, but it will open the file up. But I guess I could let him take. I don't have to take. So I'm going to go here with a view to coming here to chase his queen next move. Depending on what he does. Knight check, I think I'm fine to just simply take, take, and take. Knight back undermines this pawn. So probably rook across and we're going to try and grab the pawn if he does something like that. F3, I think, was his original idea. That's why he's guarded this pawn here. Oh, he's gone back that way. But again, now if I can chase the queen from guarding this pawn, we can try and grab the pawn and open his king up. So he's had to go back over. So now I can go here and maybe threaten to give him an isolated pawn. But otherwise, how am I getting into play here? Ah, rook forward might be a nice move, actually. I like the look of that. I like the look of rook forward to put pressure on the pawns in my opponent's half. Then if his rook wanders off, we're threatening a nice punch with bishop takes, although we could then get counterpinned. Hmm. So takes, knight takes. It feels like there should be something here for me, but I'm not certain. But I could take the opportunity to come across. I guess it's just freeing him up here, here. Yeah, I'm going to play rook across. I don't think he'll take. I think he'll develop his other rook. But he's he's got this weakness. He has to defend it. It's very bold if he pushes his pawns forward. Or oh, he's taken. So now he's got the same issue here. And if he plays rook across, I'm threatening to capture a pawn. He can't take back. But maybe he can bring the rook back and then create a counter pin. But bishop takes... Queen takes, I can get out the way with a check. So he's dropped his knight back, conceding this pawn. And again, bishop takes would be a move if my rook wasn't under attack. So we take the pawn, and we are threatening takes, depending on what he does. He's maybe just got a simple knight forward. But I'd be very happy to trade. My rook covers the bishop as well. It's just finding a good square for my queen. Maybe queen forward, yeah, that's what he's done. So queen forward looks nice. If the knight moves anywhere, there's no check. Moves anywhere else, I can take with a check. And I think I'm fine, and I put pressure on his knight here. So I like that as a concept. As long as there's no actual check discovering on my queen, I think it's fine. But if this pawn wasn't there, if that magically disappeared, it would be a bit of a problem. Then at some point, I've got to push and challenge and get my knight into play. So he has taken... So pawn or rook, I assume I should go with the rook, even though I'm conceding this second rank pressure. Just keep my pawns intact, and I'll try and go after this, but if the knight moves, I'll probably just trade. So, 
anything else I can do. I can pin his rook, can't I? Actually, that looks strong. Let's pin the rook. It looks like a strong move. If he takes, I check and collect his pawn. And he can't defend with the queen because he loses his... Well, does he... Actually, no, maybe he can defend with a queen. Take, queen takes, and guards his knight. Hmm. But then he's got problems with a move like queen back. Maybe he can drop his queen back and then maybe a move like rook up. But I've still got to be careful if he gets in here. A lot of pressure can easily come. That's exactly what he's done. So is there any nice tactics here? Obviously my rook is double attacked. So take, queen takes. And he's just holding on, isn't he? So what about takes, queen takes there. And then say queen down and we get a double attack. That looks strong. It stops his queen coming in as well. I like the look of that. I don't want to burn all my time, but I like the look of just the simple double attack. So I'm going to drop back and hit the two pawns. Because where it is right now, my king feels safe and my knight covers a check if he gets in here. Even if I lose this pawn, it feels okay-ish. But if I manage to collect this pawn, I've got two past pawns. And if we go this way, his king's very vulnerable, but that might be the... The least worst for my opponent it might be. He might have a good move that deals with it all though. Okay, he's played king forward so I'm not going to waste time there. He's going to take the pawn. Now can we keep these and use them? My queen guards this one and the knight can't check here and if you check here I've got a knight covering as well as a pawn. So as long as I guard this pawn I don't see how he gets in so then I can focus on these and if his knight magically gets to this side of the board, I can switch my queen back to go after his king, potentially. So I'm just going to push my pawn up there and just, like I say, pay attention. Hope I don't blunder something here. It's always possible in any game of chess that you just miss a move that your opponent doesn't miss. So he has come forward with the knight now going after my pawn. But is there any trick there? I don't see it, but it doesn't mean it's not there. Put queen down. See, I'm playing a knight down, aren't I? That's a bit of a problem. Let's just push the pawn for now. I'm going to try and stay up on the clock. We're about a minute up on the clock, but I need to use it. I need to use my time wisely, but I can't defend this pawn. If he double attacks it, I can't really defend it. So it's whether he's got that extra attack. Queen down, queen here. Takes, takes, and it's got to be winning with the two pawns. But if it isn't, I'm a knight down, aren't I? Whoa, what the heck's he done there? King forward, oh, that's got to be a mistake. That has to be a mistake, surely. Dare I try and break out here? I mean, I'm looking at queen back instinctively just to hit the pawn and then push on. But I thought a move like queen down to double attack. I'm going to come back. Just to threaten to take a pawn with a check. I keep pressure on the knight. But I thought queen down there. If this pawn collapsed actually. Then there's pressure on this one as well. It could be a problem. He's played knight back. But does that allow me to unwind now? Does that allow f5 to be played? Maybe it does. If takes I could go with the knight or the pawn. I think f5 takes. Just go with the knight. That must be good. Or I can just keep marching my pawns. Yeah, there's no pressure on me now, is there? So I think I can just push a pawn on because there's no immediate threat to my king that I can see. I think he needed queen down to remove this pawn. So now he's gone back. I think I just push my pawn on again. He's going to have to retreat again, I think. If I go here, takes, I can push here, but... Maybe I'll lose it. Um, okay, now I've got a check here, but I want to keep this under control. But check. And then he can't step forward either way, so maybe checking up. That looks very strong to me. He can't step forward. If he blocks, I can check. Then I can just push on. Yeah, he's blocked. But now I think I just check and push and threaten to queen. I mean, there is a pawn there as well. 
Um, but this feels winning, but is it? I think pawn up. He needs a one move knockout blonde. I just don't think he's got it. I think I just pushed the pawn. I mean, I've got three minutes. I need to use it, but I think it's just about one. I think it is. Yeah, he had to take a chance there and push, which he's done. Now, I can check here first, and then he can't step forward or go here or here, so he has to drive his king back. So he, it, I go here, I guard this pawn, and then I queen next move. I think that's right. I think I check first. I mean, it doesn't matter if he blocks. I think I just queen anyway. I think I've played this one not too bad. It's still amateur games are never over till they're actually over. Anything can go wrong, but I think we now get our queen. So he takes, I think I just take back. Again, there's no easy way for him to get in, because even if he got his knight here, my knight covers it. And we can potentially just double up and trade and then push the pawn. Yeah, so he resigns. I thought we did pretty well that game. Let's just see how the engine says we actually did. We did 41 moves, so they're the move times. So let's put that through the engine. It doesn't normally take too long to run through. So you can see the end game there, we are completely winning. And then there'll come a point where we weren't, and then we've gained an advantage somewhere. So we're level here. Oh, we were better for a move here, and then we've made a slight mistake somewhere. So the engine saying queen back was a mistake, was it? Oh, a5 was a mistake. I should have dropped the queen back straight away. So a5 was an inaccurate move or something. Yeah, we're worse out of the opening. Out of the opening, excuse me. So we're, we're two worse here. So in the opening, white has built a steady advantage. I was a bit concerned about the Greek gift idea. But the engine's saying, uh, go back to e6 instead of h5. And that's the only mistake it's flagging. But I'm minus two just about in this position. And then white has been better to here. Just slightly better. Still plus two better. And that knight move is really going for this nice idea is what's kind of cost it but the engine saying yeah I should have moved the rook across immediately to challenge the queen first but wouldn't you just have knight takes takes check and then takes anywhere so what was the idea there with this move the engine is saying the queen should have moved to c4 obviously you can take your time and play through all them all your own moves and take as long as you like with them then in this position, this is where we've gained the actual advantage. The king forward. Otherwise, in this position, it's still level. Knight to d7, and it's still level, even though we've got these pawns here. So not easy to convert, but the knight's getting a dangerous check, and there must be some sort of way to get the queen behind and do a repetition or something like that. But in the end, we've done pretty well. So 88% versus 80% accuracy, 36 versus 61 for the center pawn loss. So very good.